Hey guys, DJ Do here. Sorry it's been a minute since I've had any reviews out. Um, I know you guys uh, love to see my reviews. I love talking, you know, crap about the music industry and the DJ business and all this other stuff that you guys like to see as well. But I know reviews is what normally you guys are clicking on to see. And I've been slacking a little bit for the fact that I've had some family issues at home that I needed to attend to in New Jersey, um, which I'm still kind of attending to and I'll get through that in another video because I'd love to talk about that and why I kind of had to take a lot of the summer off. But since you guys love reviews, I have a few reviews I want to get to, including some more videos on the Rain Performer. I know you guys love that controller. I love that controller. Uh, but let's talk about lighting. I do lighting videos also, and I haven't done a lot so far, but I have a new light sent to me from our friends at B Topper. It's the CLB260. Again, the CLB260. So let's take a look. Okay, here we go. This is the Beat Topper. I believe on the website it's actually called the 9R260. Uh, um, I, before I shut off the lights, I just wanted to show you the inputs right here. We have obviously uh, PowerCon connections. Uh, it's a pretty, you know, medium sized lights, but you know, it is, I feel like it is concert worthy. Um, obviously, you see DMX in, DMX out pretty good looking light to be honest this actually doesn't feel cheap for 300 you know 330 bucks pretty good um here's the menu system there's a lot of stuff right here you can see in the menu it has auto sound um you can go through a test mode as well um unfortunately they only sent me one so i can only test out one i didn't run it in slave mode um so i just kind of ran it in auto mode i didn't dmx it but I know it works because I did set up the one light with my sound switch controller and it worked great. There's all kinds of factory reset. One thing I did screw up on is that I accidentally set, set it to the Chinese language and I could not figure it out to save my life to get it back. All right, right here, I shut off the lights. And as you can see, the beam is extremely bright. I have it set into an auto mode right now and has 12 different gobos, 12 different gobos, also 14 colors. There's eight different prisms. Um, and you know, I'm reading this off the website, you know, I'm getting all the information so you can see, uh, it's pretty lightweight, um, very bright auto mode, sound mode, master slave, DMX obviously and um, I set it up in like literally a couple seconds it took me to set this thing up now like I said this does use a bulb it does use a bulb um, which you know the problem with using a bulb is that that eventually it'll burn out and you have to replace the bulb uh, the good thing is that this bulb will probably last you longer than you probably have the light and also it does get extremely bright but it gets extremely hot and it's just working through some patterns it is a small room so it was hard for me to really showcase and it's actually daytime outside and you know i didn't couldn't put it into the bigger room at the time it was the only chance i had to record this because i have to go home and see my family um, in New Jersey, but I wanted to get this done in Arizona real quick. So this is the Beat Topper 9R260 or the COB260. And this is the auto mode. Here's another angle I took real quick, just to try to get a little distance. I put it into my garage and see if I could uh, get it out of the studio and where I have a little more room just to see how tight that beam does project. Okay guys, there it is. I know it's kind of hard to get a lighting demo and I'm kind of in a smaller space, but, um, but here's my thoughts. First of all, is it worth the price? Yes. Again, I think they go for about $412, but on special, I'll leave a link in the description right now. I think they are about $320 or $300 exactly. Something like that. Check out the link. I would definitely pick up two to four of these. I think it would look sick. They are extremely bright, extremely bright. 
here's the problem with them, them being so bright is that they do get very hot. This is not an LED light. There is a bulb in there. They will go out eventually, but you probably won't even have the light as, you know, as long as the bulb is going to be in there. The bulbs aren't even that expensive, but I'm telling you that that lamp inside is bright, but it will last you probably forever to be quite frank with you. You probably won't have to replace it anytime soon. And, um, that's that's the only caveat it's not too heavy it does come with a bracket you can hang them upside down the only thing i say that if you are hanging them behind a band or in front of someone you know there is that heat issue again it does get a little hot i didn't have i was running it in tucson arizona it's 105 degrees outside today i've had it outside running for like an hour no heating issues whatsoever it didn't cut out it didn't go in didn't kick into some panic mode it worked great so there's my thoughts. Sorry, it's been a few weeks before I could, you know, had a review out. I just had so much stuff going on in my personal life. And, you know, maybe in the next video, I'll kind of tell you what's going on. And it, I had to take a break for a little while. And because of that, I'm kind of slacking off on my reviews right now, but I'm getting back into them. Starting with this light right now, check it out. I think on the website, it's the 9R260 or the CLB260. Leave a link in the description. You can go right to it. And that's it, folks. God bless you guys. I hope you're having an amazing, an amazing summer. And I'll catch up with you soon. Thank you.